special guest, actor, director, and America's favorite stick man, Michael Rappaport. Hey! Yeah. Glad to be here. Did we introduce Christian? I, I, well, you just kind of figured they out. They did like yeah, a double shot, and I threw it in there. Not that I care. care. Let say, me I, be clear. I, I don't care. I that you didn't, because it would have been <laughs> awkward to come back, so thank you for that, John. You all know Christian. Okay. Christian, I'm calling you out now. Thoughts on the comments yeah. and new image for Cog Skull Island. Mike's busting. I, think Mike's yeah. I, I, I gotta right, say let's, something let's go here. I gotta say something here. And Natasha, that was a great reading of that long quote. Thank you. I hope to God this guy's fucking movie is more interesting than his analogy of what his fucking movie is going to be. <laughs> I never heard... What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was like a deposition. <laughs> Who gives a shit, man? This is... Let me tell you something. I, I, I watched this show. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to sit here for an hour talking about these monster movies, these comic book villains, and all this bullshit. This guy's talking about what we did in the original... What was it, 1933? 1933. Yeah. Who, who's doing the math? No one... You think that any of the kids... That are going to see this fucking thing, and the parents that have to drag their kids to see this nonsense are going to sit there and watch the 1993, the 1933 version to be like, oh, well, he wasn't anatomically correct. And listen, this is what's wrong. I'm going to tell you straight up. This is what's wrong with Hollywood, and this is a cinephile movie. This is what's wrong with cine cinema in general. Hollywood is fucked. We're, we're fu I'm part of it. I'm part of it. I would love to be a part of this movie, but if people... <laughs> no, I had a great sell to get on the No, I'd love to be... Any actor would be, uh, love to be a part of it because being in one of these movies is like being in The Godfather now. There isn't... Because there is no Godfather. So to get a part in that and to get, you know, your, your paycheck in it and hopefully have your name on the poster is a good career move. But if you think that someone wants to sit around and they're going to compare the night. How many King Kong movies? Is that, haven't they done like three or four or this five? This is the fifth one. In, the, in, the, in this modern time. Oh, yeah. And every time they re, they're re-duping it. And re Cut the bullshit, man. <laughs> Just make the fucking movie. Hopefully it's huge success. Hopefully you got a good part for, for, for a shit. Is it take place in New York? This no, one? no, no. Does it, so I, I, I definitely won't get a chance to be in this one. Michael, this That's the line. What's the difference between this, this one, one and the last this one, one, King Kong, is as big as Godzilla, and there's great. No, there's no Beauty and the Beast angle this time. What is the? What, there's no. There's no girl. Not this time. He's just he's gonna knock going shit down yeah. and he's, yeah. fucking the buildings that they knocked down in the last one, and we're gonna be scared and the, that's the, the apes gonna they're be sent back into the ocean. Where are they gonna put the apes? They're not gonna. No ocean this one. He doesn't. He can't swim. Um. So what? They're, what they're, <laughs> How do you know? Because that's that's what they said. They rebooted. This is a non-swimming ape. What they're gonna do? A non-swimming. And he's that's a walking ape. He doesn't run walk, around yeah. like he, a. He can walk. But if he's so big, he can just walk into the ocean. He'll have like a head. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. I, I, I've never seen somebody be so sincere, so serious about his movie, a King Kong movie. Just cut the shit, man. It's King Kong. Does anyone take this shit serious? Yeah, a lot King of Kong. Do. A lot of people Dude, take I want to see serious. Michael Rappaport in King Kong versus Godzilla. He's, right. he's I know. pimping right now. He could do it. But don't you think, Michael, don't you think they movie? have to take this serious though? Too. You have to. Like the, these directors that do it, they're total artists. They're, they're totally sincere. And yes, they do have to. I'm, I'm making light of it. They have to take it serious. <laughs> it's a trim listen. It's a huge job. It's a huge undertaking. This film hasn't gone into production yet. No, it's almost it's, done. It's, it's almost done. done. Okay. Yeah. The trailer I mean, came out I, I respect the shit out of these directors. They, 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 it takes like a year, two years to make these movies. I, the craftsmanship and all the technicality that goes into it. But for me, as a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a movie fan, and this is just me. I feel like I'm in the minority. I personally. And this is just how I feel. And I respect all the actors and all the directors that are in them. And God bless them. And, 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 and Robert Downey Jr. and Favreau and all. They should make money and be successful to do whatever the fuck they want. And I would love to be in any of those movies. But I can't tell you the difference between a fucking Iron Man, a Batman, a, 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 a Superman, a Spider-Man. Each, every five weeks, they're getting a new Spider-Man into this one. I have an actor friend of mine who had to go through the rigmarole of potentially being Spider-Man. I was like, they're making you audition for this shit? They're fucking making you audition to play? Like, you're either the guy or you ain't the fucking guy. They t it's so ultra serious and there's testing and it's like, get the fuck out of here. You could put you. They could take an unknown person off the street who's never acted before. Who says no experience, no fan base, no Twitter page, no Instagram, no followers, no anything. All you got to do is put them in the movie. Spider-Man is selling the movie. 
It doesn't matter. King Kong with this fucking Donkey Kong shit working. <laughs> People are going to go see it because of that. But they're like, you know, but, micromanaging every little what? point of it. And as far, I'm saying from an actor's point of view, I'm telling you the real deal. It's some bullshit. I, oh, I think I saw that. By taking filmmakers like And you this, know what's incredible? I'm not going to say, I think I was in that. No, I think, I think, <laughs> it, no, I think it's great. They're taking filmmakers, filmmakers like this, and they took my man who, who directed um, um, Creed. Uh -huh. who, who directed um, Coogler. What, what was the first film he uh, Truthville Station. Station. Excellent. Yeah. And he's directing some Black some, Panther. I think it's fantastic, but but to me, this guy who did Kings of Summer, this small movie, and I know Favreau did those, and I think it's great. I respect these guys. I'm just saying for me, as far as a, a lover of cinema and a participant in in, in, in the screen actors guild and, and, and you know and someone who goes to the movies as a fan and, and who happens to also participate in the business of show. The, the fact that these movies are like the epicenter of, of movieism and the epicenter of like where these young actors, these 22 year old actors, like you have to be in one of those movies to sort of get to that. Bit. It's fucking bullshit, man. Wow. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and this is and it's a totally different time. But it's like the, you're, 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 the days of, of of a great, true movie star who's a great, true actor who's who's, you know, who puts his blood and guts in the film done. Yeah, and I yeah, love they're, John Goodman. They're all great, but it's like you could put you could put John Goodman, you could put John Turturro, you could put Ed Harris, you could put Bill Murray, you could put any one of these actors in it, and they should all get it, and they should make their fucking money, because that's the only. <laughs> uh, no, you yeah, think I, it's a bullshit. I, I, that's no, no, the no, only no. place. I, I'll disagree you, with actors you. Actors cannot make money. Yeah. Actors cannot make money unless in film. Unless they're in those movies, right? But what you're, you're equating you're equating superhero films to like I can go back to the '50s and '60s when there were no superhero films, and those big name actors like who are now Mike uh, Robert J, J, uh, Robert uh, Downey Jr. Jr. Uh, they they would be in Cleopatra. So that's those big budget that's Hollywood. I'm, I'm talking about what the I'm, golden age of cinema. No, but, but it's I'm what not going to sit there and watch these fucking movies from the no, 1950s. No, no. I'm talking but, about the 60s, talking, 70s, 80s, and even into the 90s. Look, I could go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, we could go 70s, 80s, 90s, and we could talk about big movies that came out that had nothing to do with superhero films, but those were big Hollywood movies at the time. That's yes. what the big Hollywood movies are now. Are you saying Benedict Cumberbatch is not a good actor? He's no, in I a didn't big say that. No, no, He's no, in no, a no, big... Don't, don't try to put that, because I'm, I'm saying... These actors should do it. They should kick ass and they should make their money. I'm not saying superhero that. Superhero movies are but the don't blockbuster. Fool yourse right. Don't the blockbuster fool yourself films. to think that any actor worth his fucking soul. They want that money. They but want no, that no. exposure. Don't and think that, that they think that like they're taking that shit seriously and they're like, this is the performance of a lifetime. This ain't the performance of a lifetime. This is a fucking superhero movie. Uh, Heath, Heath Ledger know, would man, disagree. Heath Ledger would he, disagree. I was going to go. I was going to reference that. He, he kicked ass. And that shit. And also, my man, um, who was the dude in Batman? Which, and, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Kicked ass in yeah. that shit too. But Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger would disagree. But how? But how many of these films have been made in the, since that Heath Ledger film? Like so in 2008. Not uh, even Batman. Yeah, just 30. The whole, probably 30. Okay, so we could go to the one performance out of 30 where you're like, yeah, he really. Jeremy. Yeah. You've been sitting very patiently. No. Yeah. That's how, that's how I run. We're on the easy screen. <laughs> sure, and it feels so yeah, sweet. So what do you think about that? I think that director is going to think twice no, before he I'm answers sweat. shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be like, is Michael Rappaport watching this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you guys. You know, you, know, I, you know, like I'm just here, you know, having a good time. But I, 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 It's I, hot button issues. It's hot button issues. No, but I get, I get, I get, go finish what you're saying, Jeremy. No, I was just saying thank you for taking everyone's mind off of the last two days. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, look, look, forgot are, about that. Right? I already said we were going to go just forgot that was today. My, I think I appreciate it too because fuck, man, it's, it's been a rough two days. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got to move on. Rough. I can we say like fuck seven man. other. We got, other what are the, what are we got like seven we got? other issues topics? to get to. What's this? <laughs> Schnepp, what do you think about it? I actually really liked it. You know, I'm a big science fiction fan, and and no they didn't. Fucking hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking shit. No fucking shit. I just met you, and I would be like, yeah. If he's gonna say, I would say science fiction. You didn't just meet me, man. I love you, Tom Holland. You can follow me at Jeremy Johns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tom Holland? Spider-Man. <laughs> the 19-year-old kid? Perfect. Yeah. I want to take this man, get stoned, and see Doctor Strange. <laughs> fucking love it. No, I heard it was good. You I heard it was it. very good. All <laughs> that negative energy about the Super Show will be drained away into the fucking world like of the Doctor cosmos, Strange, man. Strange, if you just go see it, not knowing anything about what it is... You will love it. You're able to follow it? Oh, yeah. Totally follow okay. it. Yeah, like so, yeah, I heard it was loved great. It. I heard it's it was great. Joseph Swinton, Mads Mikkelsen. No, I heard it was excellent. No, I heard it was really good. Heart 8. Oh, Heart 8. Is it Heart 8? 
I you guys are supposed to be yeah, film people. I know. I know. <laughs> Hang on a second. We're I'm not in this. I, I, I should know. say Philip Hoffman. You should be rattling off you my mean Philip Baker Hall? Philip Baker Hall. Hall. Right here, guys. You know who he is. <laughs> Found <laughs> it. Computer. Signing <laughs> yeah. John mentioned the movie trivia showdown. It's going down tomorrow. I'm going to pitch hard to get Michael Rappaport on that show. I'll tell you I that much. I won't do good. But you I'll, I'll I'd I'd love to have you in trivia. I mean, you got you got. I'm not going to any of this space shit. This is no. We'll put it. We'll put it. We'll put Scorsese in there. Yeah. We'll put, it, we'll I'm put it all that. All right, we'll, all right I, I'm hold you to it. Love, but if you talk about what was the movie you brought up earlier, Tom Valerian. Holland's career, Valerian, Tom Pacific Holland's Rim career. Male yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> structure it towards your strengths for Elia. sure. Runner, yeah, that works. Zardoz, find you, uh, sorry, at Christian Harloff, Twitter and Instagram, and watching Copland this weekend.